Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of Australia, ladies and gentlemen of the world, Dan the Poet here. I've been busy with the pencil again. I've knocked up another one. This one is for the American audience. They must make of it what they must. And it's something that you most probably are all aware of. It's a show on your television and it's called The O'Reilly Factor. So here we go, The O'Reilly Factor. See what Bill O'Reilly's got to say about it, eh? With compliments to Bill O'Reilly. The O'Reilly Factor. The O'Reilly Factor went to air. The public, they tuned in. The truth, he said, was very rare. There's Polly's steeped in sin. The O'Reilly Factor had the facts. The loopholes they exposed. The loopholes found within their acts and changes he proposed. All the viewers said it's true. All said that they hide tax. And all the poor, they said they knew. The homeless, they're the facts. Bill O'Reilly told them all. He said that it was true. The poor, he said, he heard them call. Their plight, he said, he knew. Bill O'Reilly did his bit. He loopholes then exposed. He found out where the loopholes fit and closed them, he proposed. All the pollies hid the facts. The powerful said, not true. T'was buried there inside the acts. And tax evasion knew. Bill O'Reilly knew the law. His right to have his say. A conflict looming there he saw, and homeless not the way. Bill O'Reilly called to all. He said there must be change. To close their loopholes was his call, and how's their poor arranged. Bill O'Reilly said it's true. The gaps between rich and poor. He said he'd do all he could do and told all what he saw. There you go, William. I hope you like that one, mate. See what you can do to help the poor and the homeless and the faithful. The strong must help the weak lest they lose their strength. Hooroo.